Welcome back. Now, let me introduce my special guest to you. He is Obong Ediong. Obong Ediong is the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer, Africa Prudential PLC. Ediong, you are welcome. Thank you very much. You are looking Mr. very Marvin. fresh. <laughs> I want to be like want, you when no, I grow. No, no, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you are welcome to uh, this platform. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, first, I want to appreciate the fact that Adrian could make uh, it to the studio today. You know, other managing directors will actually have requested that I come to their office to interview them. But, you know, I'm equally very busy. I have only one or two days in Lagos. For most part of the week, I'm out of Lagos. And uh, for him to have been able, in fact, to get Adrian to speak with on phone sometimes, it's always jamming, always on call. Of course, it might take one day or two days you will call back. I always do. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and uh, I guess he's such a young man, very vibrant, full of energy. So, in case you know anyone who is not an existing investor in African Prudential, they should listen. Today is the show watch right now. Please make a call to them. And if you're an existing um, investor in Africa Prudential. I think there is a mini fact behind the figure. Okay, uh, Idion, welcome. Once Thank again. you. Thank you. Now, let, let me start this way. Basically, the origin of African Prudential, I can tell you I know everything as UBA, uh, the registrar department actually, and then it got to Africa Prudential registrars, and then now Africa Prudential uh, PLC which uh, assumes that the company now incorporates so many entities aside from the core share registration business. But the first question I will put to you is that I know, because I'm an industry person, that things are not rosy with share registration business in Nigeria, as we speak, as it used to be. But then, I've taken time to look at your result. In your absence, we even did an analysis here. I found out that in as much as the share registration business has not been that rosy, I don't know whether I should talk about what I know to be their major source of income, which the Securities and Exchange Commission has taken off them. But I can see that since you came on board, you have ensured that your turnover does not decline. And then you still ensure that dividend is paid. How are you coping? Uh, thank you very much um, for the question. I think, like for every business, you have to continue reinventing yourself. Um, if you look at your environment, uh, you need to respond to that environment. Um, for us at Africa Prudential, looking at, like you rightly said, in terms of what's happening with the share registration business and with the new, um, with all the laws from 2015 uh, with SEC, which would rightly so to change the narrative of the market, you know, and ensure that there are more shareholders uh, coming. We looked within our business model and we thought, yes, uh, we're looking at a future that was, was changing from when we were started. And we saw that we needed to do something and actually because i mean like you rightly said the dividend now goes to the to the, the to the paying companies so we reviewed our business model how do we create deliver and capture value we needed to really reinvent that and not only have we strengthened um, our registrar share registration business if you look at um, from 2019 our share registration business was making 13 percent contribution to the revenue overall revenue of the company today 20 um, as a 2021 is now doing 20 percent and what we now did was to diversify which was um, very very important for us we moved from we moved into the digital technology space which I'll be talking a bit about if I'm opportune um, in this meeting and so you see in the digital technology space where it never existed before um, as of 2019, we had 1% revenue when we started. Contribution of revenue today is contributing 19% of the revenue, almost taking the registrar, overtaking the registrar business. And, and again, it was just us continuing to reinvent the business and seeing how we can expand the scope. Let, let, let me ask you, what is this technology business? Okay, okay. today, um, Africa Prudential. So if you recall, uh, Mr. Bayomi, Africa Prudential in, 20, in 2017, we dropped the name Registrars. It was Africa Prudential Registrars yeah. PLC. We dropped the name Registrars because we're looking at what next? What can we do? 
um, beyond um, registration. Again, we're listed company, the only listed um, reg um, reg share registration company with 260,000 shareholders. You're not going to go and meet the shareholders and say, oh, I'm a registrar, I'm not going to pay you your shares or, or give you value. And so we looked around and we checked that within us, we had some competence in technology because we had built our core enterprise solution, which we call Greenpool. We built it ourselves. And so we started expanding and investing more in technology. Today, we build software applications for companies. Um, today, we do IT outsourcing. Today, we do biometric identity management. And today, uh, we also have products and services. We have a product in the, in the cooperative space with over 300 and something thousand users of that product. So wow. we have um, evolved quite a bit. Mm. And from what I know, technology business is always, because again, we live in a fast growing world. Things are always changing. From what you have just said, if I heard you well, it is like this technology business is overtaking the share registration business. Well, I, I think first of all, you know, we're strengthening the share registration. Um, if you look at, we did about, in our core share, share registration business, we did about, we finished with about 710 million um, for, for 2021, which is the highest we've done in the last, you know, um, 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 since inception. And then if you look at um, um, a year before that, you know, that was an 11% increase. The year before that, I think it was about 638 um, million. So, uh, the fact that, so the fact that we're getting this competence in te technology is enabling us even see more opportunities within the share registration business. And we're going to come up with a few products this year. And you can now see that even a sector that might look, even a sector that might look, you know, um, like not progressing, you know, an injection of doing things differently, ideas. an injection of new ideas would definitely um, change the sector. But to your question in terms of the technology, yes, um, we did, um, we're finishing, um, if you look at our results that just um, came out for technology, we did about um, six, I said the share registration did 709 with technology, we did about um, 670 million. And this was zero in 2019, 54 million so in 2019, zero in 2018. And, and we believe that yeah, it's now contributing 18% of our business. Luckily for us, again, like you rightly said, investment income is going down. Investment income from 2019 was about 72% contribution of our revenue. Today, investment income is 61%. So we are in the core industries and technology. I mean, technology is bringing a lot of changes across the sectors. Look at the Fortune 500 companies, you know, filled with technology companies. And we believe that we're in the right space. We see lots of opportunities on a daily basis and we're not even looking at just within our geography we're looking at africa we need to start making those dollars so we can you know and on this platform okay. particularly malam kurufi believes that if you really want to be different from others you begin to look beyond nigeria Correct. and that is why we always recommend access bank i recommend uba recommend uh, uh, Echo Bank, because there are three financial institutions that are actually looking beyond the africa uh, the, the the shore of this country Correct expanding to the African market. Let us drop every other information. Let us become practical here. Okay. <laughs> practical. Okay, idiom. I'm not an existing investor in African production. You're losing, you're losing out. Wumi. So what do I need to know that will make this cameraman that is seeing <laughs> you for the first time, hearing you for the first time, to go and invest in African prudential? So if you look at um, today, you see what's happening in technology. We hear unicorns. This company is now doing a billion, right? We give you the opportunity to come to technology from the market. If you look at the market, there are only a few companies listed that do cut technology. So we give you that because as those companies, as those unicorns and those fintechs are building solutions, we are also building solutions. And, and that's one. Over the last eight years, if you look at the, uh, since we got listed uh, nine years now, if you look at the last eight year dividend yield, we've been, by, according to Nigerian, Exchange Limited, we've been first in terms of dividend yields at 14.01% Africa Prudential. So we pay dividend, right? If you look at our stock price, our stock price moved from, I think about 3 naira 80 kobo in um, 2019, you know, 3 naira 80 kobo. Today, our stock price is 6 naira 40 kobo, which is a 65% increase. And that will continue because remember, we've diversified. Also, you have the opportunity to invest in a diversified company, diversified portfolio. And more importantly, buy on me you know, governance, the area of governance. We don't play in terms of governance. I think we have a certification from the Nigerian Exchange Limited for um, the um, corporate governance 
um, CGRS, Corporate Governance Rating, um, rating um, System. We have that. We've won several governance awards and everything. We believe in very, very strong governance. You know, our very diversified board, um, chaired by um, um, Chief Abba, um, Enyola Fadayomi, you know, also ensures that. So I think that apart from the fact that, first of all, we're listed, second, we're a technology company, we're not going out to, you know, raise or but we're just going to create value. And there's so much more. And just stay tuned, you'll be so excited, way more excited. Because the way we do business and the way we see business being done, we want to do very differently. So that's why, you know, you must have a piece and a stake of Africa <laughs> Prudential. And I'll come back. Hopefully, I'll be able to come back here and tell her I told you so. Ah, okay. <laughs> let, let me, let me, let me, let me ask this question again. You know, Nigerian investors particularly, mm. they, 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 they are much more interested in dividend, cash dividend payout. Someone like me, I'm not so bothered about dividend because I just want to look at the earnings. I want to look at companies that are really expanding. I want to look in. Uh, I want to look into companies that are forging ahead, penetrating new frontiers, doing new things, and things like that. But Nigerian existing investors, most of them are shareholders. Many of them will want to say that. You've not been able to grow your dividend largely from what it has been. Edion, now we know you are into a new business entirely. Why you are also growing the previous business? You are not like in my village. You might not understand. They call it Arobotun Koyali. Arobotun Koyali is when you are married to a new wife, the one that Malam Kurufi people will call Ameria. <laughs> And then you now decide to forego or forget the one that has been home before. Okay, you are managing the two, you are expanding this, you are growing this. Let me put this question to you. This new technology you are going into, one, which is a message to assisting investors of Africa Prudential. When do you think significantly we are going to be seeing the impact in the growth of your bottom line and your top line. Um, thank you. Um, but just, just to clarify, the capital, the registered business, we look at it as a technology business, right? right? So we're not abandoning the registered business. Oh, yeah. It's a core technology business, and we believe we're going to create a lot of value. You know, if you see the millennials that make up a large number of African population, they don't come to the stock market. They go to other, you know, um, a, a places to invest and everything. Yes. We need to bring them to the stock market. You rightly said when you started the program, there's a lot of opportunities there. And and so even despite the fact that we're still investing heavily, you know what it is to get the talent and the skills that we're still investing heavily, right? We're still able to, you know, to pay dividend. And if you look at the yield in the market where traditionally registrars have always gotten a lot of um, a lot of income from the investment income. I mean, if you look at uh, what you know the, the volumes and, and the values, all that has dropped now. So you are now looking at core businesses and we're growing. And the reason why you feel you might not see any, you're not seeing any impact is because of the um, of the drop of the investment income that you rightly said has ended because the area era of unclaimed dividend, you know, SEC is really doing a lot of good job about it. So you might not feel that impact, but the impact is really there. We're now we've, we're looking at very core. Um, um, areas of revenue areas and we're growing those core revenue areas. We do 50 cobalt, it's not bad. I mean, uh, we're doing, and we've consistently done. And yes, I mean, before, I think um, in the last three years, we've done about 50, um, 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 70 and 50 again. Before then, it was lower. But definitely, we believe and we are very, very grateful to those that show faith in us. And for us, you know, we think, how can we do more? How can we do more? We believe that by the time we um, continue to get, you know, the outcome of these our investments in technology. I mean, I'm sure we won't be talking cobalt, cobalt. When do we then. begin to see this precisely? We're already seeing it. Uh, we're already seeing it. We saw it from last year. We had a business that was doing zero income, a, a business line that didn't exist in 2018. Today, it's contributing 20% of the business. You know, we've had, you know, it's contributing 20% of the business. We have a registered business that is declining, but yet ours is growing. From last year to, um, from 2020 to 2021, we had a growth of 12%. Right, and and so you would see, you will continue to see that trend, um, go around, um, go around this year. There's also capital appreciation. I talked about that of the stock. So if you bought African Prudential stock three years ago, two years ago, I mean we're looking at 65% upside that you've gained from the market. So there's capital appreciation, 
there's definitely a dividend that will come. But it's going to, it's going to definitely be let more. Let me now ask, because again, we need to round off. Oh, yeah. uh, let me ask you, there are different categories of investors. There are those who are in the market for short term. There are those who are in the market for, for medium term. For those, uh, there are those who are in the market also for the long haul. Of these three classes and categories of investors. Talking to those who are watching at home, those who might be listening to you on the radio, those who might be watching you on YouTube, in what category, how will you want them to treat the equity of Africa Prudential? To trade it as short term, hit and run, I make my capital <laughs> appreciation, I bail out, or I hold it waiting for dividend and then believing in you that in the long term we are in it together i think for us i mean medium long term i, I think i mean to be fair every investor always have have their strategy you know but i believe that if you look at um but i think that i think that if you look at um over the period over the period, you continue to see sustained growth, and you continue to see those sustained growth. You know, I think that um, having long term, we've seen a lot of stock out there in the capital market where you've held short to medium to long term, and you see the different uh, rewards that have come. You know, mostly you can't get it wrong when you hold long term in terms of rewards across business, especially very, very stable, very, very stable, properly governed, and um, very agile, dynamic businesses, which Africa Prudential is. So I think that medium to long term, definitely you would you would be glad you did. And I think for also other investors, other stocks, I think that the capital market has created a lot of wealth and continues to do so. And, and yeah, and a lot of that is medium to long term. I want to say a very big thank you too. Uh, let me put this question to you. Mm. It, it, it has to do with um, your share registration business. Yes. In case those who are investors in companies where you are the registrars Correct. or to whom you are the registrar and they have issues in accessing their dividend how do you advise that they should go about it okay um two things first of all on our website we have digitized that um, engagement go to the website um, get your accounts mandated uh, if your accounts are mandated and you're not getting your dividend paid the good thing now uh, uh, the yeah, we do about the website. Yes, we do about ninety something percent of payouts on a very daily basis. Website but the website is cxc at africaprudential dot com. That's Africa, just yes. africaprudential dot com. Dot com. CXC at Africa Prudential and we rest assured we have um, a, um, a, um, a a call center that operates, you know, all through the all through the day. And so you can reach us on that. Also our social media handles, Afriprud, you can also reach us on those social media handles. Yeah, and also our phone number um, 0700 AfriProd, and you can always reach us on all those, and we always will get in touch with you. 0700 AfriProd, yes, and right. TXC. So I've been speaking with Obong Adiang, and I know in the last couple of minutes he's been able to convince you beyond <laughs> reasonable doubt how that you should be an investor in Africa Prudential, not just for the short term, but for the long haul. Because from what he has said, these days and times, technology businesses rarely fail. All right, overnight. In fact, don't be surprised that one day along the line, Idion will come and say that he's pulling out this technology company from Africa Prudential <laughs> to become another company <laughs> entirely. So, what he has said, what he needs to say, the ball is in your court. Idion, once again, I want to say a very thank you to you for making it. I do hope sincerely, Thanks for as we continue to monitor, we'll be call calling you, maybe when we see your first quarter, or Q2, and we have issues, we'll always call you to explain directly to investors out there. Right? I will go on a short break. When I return, it will be Malam Garba, Kurufi, Aruna Kibira, and my. You cannot afford to go anywhere. We're going to make a comparative analysis that you need, you surely need it, particularly on Access Bank and FBNH. I will be right back. Hi, girls. Hey. Hi. Hello, Sheila. Come, come, come right in. We've been waiting. It's amazing in here, Martha. You've done so much for yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you. Did she tell you she'll be getting her doctorate degree in a couple of weeks? Yeah. 
Really? Yeah. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. So, to more successes, girl. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Wow, it's amazing what you and your brothers have achieved in the past 15 years, despite mom and dad being absent. All four of you are so stable, and you've achieved so much. Thank you so much, girls. Life may have dealt us an unexpected blow early in our lives, but dad and mom set us on a safe path to where we are today. They secured our future with life insurance from African Alliance Insurance, PLC. We are not alone. All our life moments are kept unchecked with AAI. Oh, wow, yeah. this sounds so good, Amaka. Please, show us how. Oh. Of course. <laughs> Get life insurance from African Alliance Insurance, PLC. There's a plan to suit you and your family's needs.